When it comes to planning your perfect trip to Disneyland, there are a lot of things to consider when it comes to what you should and should not bring with you to the parks. And in this video, we're talking about 10 of those banned items that you should not under any circumstance bring with you. But stick around to the end because some of these banned items actually might surprise you. Hello everybody, welcome to RTD Adventures. My name is Brian and I am flying solo today. Jacob's not able to make it. So we're in for this ride together. We're gonna to talk about some banned items that you should not bring to Disneyland. And some of these are gonna be uh, obvious, but some things are not. Starting off our list with number one, we've got weapons, okay? Now, of course, you would probably know that you're not supposed to bring uh, guns or knives to Disneyland, but some people might not um, remember the pocket knife, for example, that you carry with you all the time. If you are somebody that drives to Disneyland and you've always got a pocket knife in your back pocket for, you know, just work around the house, um, this is something you need to make sure you're double checking uh, before you head out to the parks. And this can also include self-defense items. So things like uh, mace or pepper spray are also not allowed to be brought into the parks. The next band item that you're not allowed to bring to Disneyland is fireworks or any kind of personal explosives. Okay, so there's safety reasons behind this, of course, but even small little fireworks like sparklers are not allowed to be set off anywhere on Disney property. This means when you are in the parks, of course, this means in downtown Disney or at any of the resort hotels. So if you're planning on celebrating New Year's or the 4th of July with your own personal fireworks, better leave those at home. Next on the list, is a megaphone or speakers or any kind of noisemakers. This one actually sounds like it could be helpful if you're with a big group and you need to get people's attention. You might want a megaphone or something that amplifies your voice so it's easy for the entire group to hear you, but these items are not allowed in Disneyland at all, so security will not let you through with these. So what you need to do is just organize your group just a little bit better because these noisemakers are not going to cut it. So for this next item on our list, this actually kind of goes in hand with something that we do recommend you bring to Disneyland. Um, we always recommend that you bring your own food or snacks. Uh, however, when you do that, you are not allowed to do so in a glass container. Okay, so glass containers of any kind are not allowed in the parks. So when you're bringing your uh, food or your snacks, you need to stick to the plastic bags, Ziploc bags, or uh, plastic containers, okay? Those things are all great to bring into the parks, and this also includes uh, glass water bottles as well. So bring your plastic water bottle that's refillable or the insulated water bottles that we recommend, but uh, leave the glass ones at home. So no glass food or liquid containers allowed in the parks. And speaking of drinks, you are not allowed to bring any alcohol of any kind into Disneyland. So uh, in Disneyland itself, uh, there really isn't any alcohol available outside of Oga's Gantina. And then if you're lucky enough to get into Club 33, you can get drinks in there, but you cannot bring your own alcohol into Disneyland or California Adventure. If you get caught with this, you can actually be kicked out of the parks. So be careful with this one. Um, just if you want drinks, get them in the parks themselves, but no alcohol allowed in Disneyland of your own. All right, so for the next item on this list that you are not allowed to bring into Disneyland, it's a really fine line on what you are and are not allowed to bring with you. And we're talking about strollers on this one. So uh, strollers on one hand are actually a really good idea to bring with you to Disneyland, but they have to be within a certain size guideline. Now this wasn't always the case. It used to be that Disney had kind of loose guidelines and if it was close, then the security would let it slip. But uh, after a couple years ago, they got really strict on their guidelines and you are no longer allowed to bring strollers that are too large into Disneyland. So what is too large? So strollers must be smaller than 31 inches by 51 inches. Uh, anything larger than that will absolutely not be allowed into the parks. Now, double strollers are permitted. However, they must fit within the sizing guidelines and Disney also prohibits pole wagons of any kind. Okay, this is another one that used to be allowed, but no longer, there's no pull wagons of any kind. And uh, don't worry about getting into trouble with this one. Disney won't even let you into the parks if the stroller doesn't meet the requirements. But uh, outside in front of the parks, um, there are some sizing guides on the ground. So if you take a look at those, you can make sure your stroller fits, but you don't wanna have to get to the parks and worry about those guidelines. So if you, this one's a little bit of a concern for you, either rent one from Disney itself or measure yours before you even leave for your trip. Okay, so for the next one on their list, we have pets. Okay, now this one might sound kind of silly. Uh, of course, service animals are allowed into the parks, but a lot of times people wanna bring therapy animals with them. And therapy animals under Disney guidelines do not count 
as service animals. So those are not allowed to be in the parks, all right? If you do require a service animal, there's some other specific guidelines that you need to follow. Um, so those are available on Disneyland's website. But yeah, uh, any of your therapy animals or if you just wanna bring a pet to hang out with you, not allowed, they won't let you through security with those. And if you're wondering about getting that perfect picture, you're not gonna be able to do so with a selfie stick or any handheld device that actually uh, extends or telescopes. Okay, now tripods are allowed to be brought into the parks, but there are some uh, restrictions on what kind of tripods are allowed. You can bring a tripod if it fits inside of a standard backpack or doesn't extend over six feet. And any other handheld uh, device that holds your phone, as long as it doesn't extend, it is okay. So if you've got a small, like a gimbal, or you have a small tripod stand that's handheld and doesn't extend, that's okay to bring with you, but you are not allowed to have any telescoping handheld devices to use for your phones. And number 10 on our list, the very last one that is actually kind of a bummer that this isn't allowed inside of the parks is folding chairs. All right, this one would be incredible. If you were allowed to have this, it would be awesome because you could uh, stake out your spot for the parades on Main Street or you can set up for the fireworks or Fantasmic, but um, no folding chairs allowed. So you have to just use the seating and standing areas that are available in the parks. Leave your folding chairs at home, leave your beach chairs at home. As comfortable as that would be, they're just not allowed in the parks with you. So as it goes with all these videos, we want to make sure that we're teaching you about how to have the best trip possible. And the best thing you can do is just to research as much as you can before you take your trip, knowing what items are banned and which ones are not can actually make a big difference on what you pack and it can impact your, your overall trip, right? Some of these items that aren't necessarily uh, things that you would think are dangerous. Um, if you anticipate bringing them into the parks and, and, and helping your day, and you find out that once you get to security, it's not allowed through, that can put a, um, a little bit of a damper on your trip for the day or the, your enjoyment of the parks. So again, do the research, make sure that everything you plan to bring into the parks is going to be allowed. And if you're looking for some more information about some good items that you should be bringing with you, I'm gonna put a link to another video that we did talking all about essential items that you really need to bring with you. So go ahead and click or tap the screen. Uh, we really appreciate the support. If you guys don't mind hitting that subscribe button, it really goes a long way to helping us bring great Disney content your way. But I just wanted to say thank you. And again, thanks for watching.